Hey, welcome to Solis Technique Vlog. Um, if you guys are not familiar with my technique vlogs, uh, they're not breakdowns, they are not instructional, they're moderately demonstrational in that I have to show what it is that I'm talking about, uh, but really the intention of them and the kind of spirit of them is it's something that I am working on in my own training. Um, it can be something that I'm trying to strengthen, something that's trying to solve a problem, something that I learned from one of the legends in the Muay Thai library and I just found it completely fascinating and wanted to kind of geek out on it for a little while. So it can be lots of different things. Um, I have a playlist for free on YouTube that you can go look at. I have a shorter version that's public where I basically introduce what it is that I'm working on, why I'm working on it, maybe a difficulty with it, and then you know show what it is. Um, and that's for free. It's just to give the idea for everything. And then I have a longer, more involved um, version that I give to my patrons where I talk a lot more about some of the difficulties I'm running into when I'm working on it, little things I've found out while working on it. Um, I can refer them to the Muay Thai library from the legend that I learned it from, that kind of thing. Um, so if you're not yet a patron, you can click on the link in the description below. It's very easy to become one. And not only do you have the full length technique vlogs, but you also have the Muay Thai library, documentary projects, interviews, things like this. There's an unbelievable amount of content uh, in Patreon. So thank you to my patrons. This technique vlog is something that I've actually been working on for an incredibly long time. Um, but since COVID has changed my fighting. So I used to fight all the time. Now I'm fighting very, very infrequently. And so I started Sylvie 3.0, which was to really just focus on my training and developing myself as a fighter outside of fighting, which for me is very different because for eight years, I was just fighting all the time. Um, I'm a Dern fighter. So Dern in Thai means to walk. So that means you're the forward fighter. You're the one coming forward all the time. I'm Moi Cao, this is how it works. Um, in Sylvie 3.0, much to my surprise in how I've been developing outside of fighting, I have way more of a flexible, elastic, accordion way of fighting now. So I've actually had to start reintroducing to myself how to stay close, which is to my benefit when I'm going against people who are so much bigger than me, um, which is who I fight also. So this is not just a how to deal with my training partner situation. This is also I fight people who are bigger, longer, <laughs> heavier than me. So staying close for me. Um, is safer, staying in the pocket is much safer. So what I've been working on for a really long time is uh, you kind of like push on the chest or you maintain hand contact. You'll see this a lot with Thai fighters when you watch them in a gym, they'll touch each other's guard. It's like glove to glove and then they like kick out of it and things like this. This is something you have to teach yourself to do. This is not, as a Westerner, very intuitive at all. It doesn't feel very natural. Um, and I didn't believe it for a really long time. I have a technique vlog on the long guard, which as a short fighter and someone who takes elbows a lot, I did not believe in the long guard because everyone's longer than me, so it didn't really make any sense. But then when I trained with Chicken Man, he's in the Muay Thai library, a uh, crew guy, you can go watch his session. Um, he really, he's a shorter fighter and he really made me understand how the long guard was helping me as a short fighter. And so this is similar to that where you're like pushing on the chest or touching the guard of your opponent all the time as a like, feeler or antenna um, in order to be able to launch things out of it. Um, I've been working with Yod Pan and he, trying to get close to him again is really hard. He's also a Dern fighter. So because I have this elasticity, something that's really cool about this technique um, and working on it is that it is both for a fighter who's coming forward if you're the Dern fighter, but it's also incredibly valuable when it's time for you to start backing up. So it works for any style of fighter. Let me just show you what this is that I'm talking about. So this is how you keep your hands on the bag and use it as like a guard to control your opponent. So you can start out super easy by just touching the bag. And you actually want to maintain contact with the bag as your strikes come out, right? So you're not like push it, wait, this. That is something to like juggle the bag, but that's not maintaining contact with it. Keep the contact strike out of contact like this. And then what Yod Pan was showing me the other day, and I'll include this video in the longer version, Yod Pan shows how to juggle the bag as, as you would juggle an opponent. So as they're coming towards you, right, you're actually hitting their chest right here, you're stopping them. So if they're coming with their knee or they're coming with their kick, they're on one leg. So when you push, you're off balancing someone. So you want your strike to come off of that push. Off balance. Strike, juggle, juggle, block, this. This one's really nice when you come like this. If someone is coming to knee you and you block 
with your knee, you're gonna catch like right on the inside meaty part of the leg. It hurts so good, it hurts so, so much, they're probably not gonna knee you so much anymore after that, which is really good. So um, that is the thing to work on, is, is juggling the bag, controlling the bag, keeping your hands on the bag. At first it takes a lot of effort just to remember to keep touching the bag. And then the more comfortable you get with it, the more intuitive it becomes, the more you can play around with it and kind of like come off of it and come back onto it and kind of work on your rhythms and stuff like that as well. Um, if you want to hear me talk much more about <laughs> some difficulties I found in this, uh, watch Yod Kung Pan doing it, and I'm going to include video of me using it in sparring against Yod Kung Pan. Click on the link in the description below. You can watch the longer video as a patron. And for my patrons, you're already here. <laughs>